Schmidt, please travel to wo ist denn die hier? Niederwaldplatzhofen, right away. I have no idea where exactly that is. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Transport and accommodation have been arranged for you already. You will stay in at the pub, which is near the church somewhere. In these villages, in the end, everything is close to the church. Find the church and you will find the rest as well. Anyway, Mr. Griesbacher, the mayor there, is informed. Your task in the village is merely to complete your colleagues' reports. So to be clear, you collect information on the living conditions, wishes and complaints of the village people. Meaning you basically walk around, asking people about the living situation, write it down and report it. I would advise you not to show your face in the city before you found out every detail about the people in that place. And I don't want to hear a single complaint, Schmidt. Signed, Holler. Collect Schwammal. Yes, Schwammal. You're probably not from around here. I pick mushrooms. Are you new here? Ah, I see. Home. Oh, it's no better there. I'd rather stay outside. Here you can always discover things that you can't explain. Just now, for example, I saw a bird pull out a worm from the ground at Sebastian's farm. And do you know what I thought? I was wondering why it has now hit this particular worm. Who decides that? I wonder if I will ever get a good answer to that. Somehow I am also afraid of it. But right now I'm not looking for an answer. Now I'm looking for tasty mushrooms, like the ones my mother used to make. Would you also like to collect some mushrooms for me? There are people here who say that they have secret powers. The mushrooms, not the people. I think 10 mushrooms are a good start. Oh, and listen. If you see my father, please don't tell him that I'm here. I don't want to get slept again. Who could that be, for Christ's sake? Do you think that's him? I don't think so. No robber looks like that. How do you know all of a sudden? Have you ever seen him before, that guy Pascolini? Does he come to your place to play cards or what? Better once too careful than once too reckless. Nah, I prefer dice to cards. I always have my dice with me. Stop it with your stupid dice. You're always nagging me about it. Do you want to get on his nerves too? 
I would always roll the dice with anyone. Would you like to play a round? Don't worry, the rules are really easy. In principle, it's quite simple. You just have to roll a higher value than the difficulty. But just go ahead and try it. There I will you go. everything else in the game. But if you have a lower score, you can compensate. Just use the appropriate skill. If you run out of skill points, then you have, well, lost. Enough of this nonsense. We are on duty here. What do you want here anyway? No, we can't do that now. No one gets in or out of here. Not even you. This is an order from Mayor Griesbacher. Are hearing problems common in the city? We can't let you in. Come back another time. There's nothing we can do about it now. Uh, Bertel, he says he's not a robber at all. You be quiet now. What kind of normal person creeps around in the forest like that? We don't know anything about him. He just comes strutting along. Neither of us know him, and that's why he won't get in. And we don't play dice anymore either. Such a schman. Don't get on my nerves. Let me see what you got. With a very strong diversionary maneuver. And then sneak past. Oh yes, the Pascolinis. That gang puts brown stains in the pants of some in this town. You know what I mean. <laughs> I also remember that I recently found a piece of paper with Pascolini on it. It's still here somewhere. I'm sure there's some information on it that we can use. But I'm not sure where it is anymore. Please take a look around. But look very carefully. Do you understand? Very carefully. The last time I saw it, I was standing over there by the barrel. That's all I remember. Stand over there. Maybe you will be lucky and find it. If you find it, please bring it to me. As a small thank you, I will give you free pretzels. They're delicious and will certainly help with the search. Pay attention to colors and noises. 
Can you hear that? It must be here. Pay attention to colors and noises. Perfect. I have an idea right away. I could pretend to the guards that the Pascolinis want to ambush them. Then they'll probably run away and you can sneak into the village without being seen. But you'll have to bring me a few things. I think I can manage with a few sticks. Four sticks would be good. That's not so easy. I need nice sticks. They have to withstand something, not windy tricks. I'm sure you will find some good wood at the mill. Of course, you have to be careful that the guards don't catch you. There's a way in over there. I also have a key for the gate. The miller must have left it in the door, so I took it. Down by the water, a path leads along where many bushes grow with beautiful blossoms. It's a great place to hide. There are guys wandering around everywhere. One of them is a real tough dog. He'll knock you back into town with one fell swoop. I'm curious to see how you'll do. Or if. <laughs> Don't you have any brezels? Then eat something first. If you need another one later, feel free to come back. I always have some with me for hard times. Ernstel, I think that the Pascolini gang is really hiding in the forest. You think they moved from Dachauer Moos all the way to Wolpertshofen? There's nothing to get here, is there? Well, you know those shady bandits. They'll cut your throat for a penny. Don Isel told me that Pascolini once cut off a man's head with a can simply because he was standing in his way. Doesn't matter. I still don't want to get caught by Pascolini. Yes, 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 you are right. They are better things than getting a beating from some crooks.
Yes, great. Then we can tinker. I'll show you how I would do it. I have drawn a plan for you. You'd better put it in your pocket right away. First I'll explain it to you and then you can look at it. Let me know when you have understood the plan in the... Wonderful. What you need now is a workplace. I'm sure the barrel behind me will do. Why don't you try to make a doll there? But not a tiny little puppet. A proper Pascolini. Give me the doll when it's ready. Lord in heavens, I almost thought that you had slain a Pascolini while tinkering and dragged him along. We wait until the sun goes down, then we start. 
In the meantime, I'll clean some mushrooms. The time has come. Pay attention. I will explain our plan again. You run to the guards and convince them that Pascolini and his gang are preparing a raid and will be right here. When the two guards get really scared, I come out of the bushes with the doll. Our secret word is Mama. When I hear that, I come out. It's sure to get those trousers off those two brainiacs, I tell you. Then hopefully, they will leave right away. And you can go to the bridge and roll the barrel away. And then you can... Uh... What do you actually want? Where do you have to go? Ah! Mrs. Gschwendner! Not G. Schwendner. It's quite simple. You walk through the village on the main road, and you will see the inn straight away. There are a few beer benches in front of it, and the lights are always on. Just an inn. But be careful, there are also guards running around everywhere in the village. You're welcome. We should be on our way now. It was nice to meet you. And please don't tell my father or the guards that you saw me. Otherwise, the Pascolinis are the least of my problems, I can tell you that. Bertel, did he say Pascolini? Did I hear that right? Am I crazy? How does he know that? Is he just trying to mess with us? Ernst, that sounds exactly like the description on the wanted posters. He must have met him. That's not good. Stop! The robbers? Us? I don't know. Ernstel, let's get out of here. I think this is just mad. I don't want to die today. Where should we go? They are everywhere! Over there! Down on the right! And then run! Oof. <laughs> 